Do I have to go for the documents t today? Oh, but it is high in herbs and mushrooms, and those are what I need. Right, it looks like I'm going to Capachi. Uh, Sashko, you just take it easy today, all right, buddy? We're gonna we're gonna have plenty of food to eat tonight. I hope. I really do. I remember the young pioneer camp. Who would have thought that there were secret Soviet bunkers scattered around? Olivier tries hard to be friends with you, but is it genuine? He's a mercenary after all. Can you afford his brand of loyalty? He wants revenge for Anton, doesn't he? And I... I don't know if I trust the voice in my head. I feel like she's the one that's been trying to manipulate me from the start. She didn't want me to push the button when we first arrived at the control centre. Right. Let's start with the herbs. There's mushrooms here as well, though. Is this deep? No. Let's try keep the pace up. Let's look at the map. So that's the objective. I don't want to go straight there. I could hit up... Oh, is this where I was the other day? Where the traitor was? I need to pay more attention to where I go. Right, yes. I want to head. Check these sites out. And then we'll loop back around. Do these two things, maybe. So, this way. Keep an eye out for patrols. Let me get in there. Oh, I'm not going to go that way either. Back away. He looks heavily armored. Where are you going, buddy? You just patrolling up there? One last sweep and I'm done. Great. That's it, one last sweep. You don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Right, there's two of them. All work and no play makes Vladimir a dull boy. Oh, Vladimir, I feel you. You, you shouldn't be out here. Yeah, maybe I don't want to go that way. Unless I think I can take them in a fight. The last time I got into a gunfight, it did not go very well. There are herbs up there, though. Right, well, I fell down here now. I don't want to go in that water, that's for sure. I I need to be decisive. What's the map look like? They are patrolling that area. Yeah, we're not going that way. Let us try loop around that patrol. It, there's just so many of them, and there's so much radiation.
I need to make gas mask filters and all sorts. I'm just so under-equipped and ill-prepared. Right, before we actually go anywhere else, traps. I can make crafting tools out here. Stove, basic field workshop. And advanced field workshop. Gunsmith field workshop. Oh, no, I don't want to build it. I want to go back. Environment modifiers. Chernobylite neutralizer. Black Stalker is delayed. I need to get building these. The space time disruptor. Stop radiation particles, slows down the rate of radiation growth in the zone. Wormhole blocker. It limits the number of wormholes from which Chernobylite monsters can find their way into our world. There's, I just need so many herbs. If I can slow down the Black Stalker, I can increase the amount of time I spend looking for resources. That's too close to where I actually want to go. I, I want to go off the beaten path a little bit. So I actually cover the ground and find resources. I was saying. Just check where I am on the map. And that's where all the guards were. Further up on the left. Oh. Don't hear anything. That's where I would like to be. That's another thing that I need. How down does this go? This isn't going to lead into that other KGB facility, is it? Is it? Food. Yes. This does make me feel very claustrophobic, though. I can't say I like that. Stay in the shadows. Wait. Stay in the... The black masked man, you mean? Okay, maybe we should hurry this up. Herbs? I thought there was going to be plenty of herbs around here. Tatiana, voice in my head. Oh, gas mask filters. Can I get in? I must be able to get in here, right? And they were sending a KGB squad after these documents, weren't they? So of course there's going to be a KGB squad around here, an AR, an AR squad anyway. I climb in here. Yes. It's locked. Okay. Let's try get. Have a look. Right, there's one NAR soldier. 
It seems very... It's not here. Why isn't it here? Oh, fuck. Shit, take it easy, Andre. These documents are over 30 years old. Who knows where they ended up by now? The captain said we have to find them. It's really important. It, it's for the research division. Yes, hey, hey, right. Hey, check it out. Some kind of transfer order. It's got a KGB stamp on it. Should be in a oh, museum. No. All documents, memorandums, and reports are scheduled for immediate transfer to secure storage in bunker 007. Hmm. It's dated April of 86. Looks like they moved all the important records after the Chernobyl disaster. We can find the bunker later. Just keep searching. See what else we can dig up. I kind of want to see what I can dig up here. Do I... It's only two of them. Right, we're gonna go try to take these guys out. Ow! I think we're good. Transfer documents. Major Kuznetov. Previously agreed, all critical documents, memorandums, and reports are scheduled for immediate transfer to secure area and bunker 7 at Emerald Camp. Burn the rest of the archives immediately. Agent L. Voroninova. Interesting. I guess I'm going to check out a bit. Here too. Right. Let's have a mushrooms. That's the note. It might be worth coming back here because I don't know how much time I've got left before the black mask man appears. Clue. Splinter. The KGB operator's nickname. <laughs> I'll probably never know who he really was. Respectfully, I would like to appeal to you on behalf of our field operative, codename Agent Splinter. He's a good communist, a fanatic, or a fantastic surveillance officer, not a fanatic, who has recently been deemed unfit for duty on the grounds of his failing psychological avowals. Comrade Markelov, I personally handpicked Agent Splinter during his studies at Leningrad Polytechnics, and I can vouch for both his integrity and usefulness to our department's current operations. As much as I appreciate the work and input of our staff psychiatrist, uh, psychiatri I can pronounce things, psychiatrist, Dr. Bruno Bruhanov, I feel a, the strong need to emphasize the urgency of our current assignments that, in my opinion, deem such consider considerations secondary. Therefore, I would like to ask you to back my request to reinstate Agent Splinter to active duty so he can continue his work in Pripyat. Despite experiencing some minor personal difficulties, Agent Splinter remains one of our top field officers and I need him on the ground to safeguard the new Dugar project. Respectfully, Major Kuznetov. Gun. That was that was a portal. But I think it's time to leave. Because if he finds us, we're in flipping trouble. Oh, but what? I got I've got mushrooms. I can make a mushroom garden, but I do not have herbs. I can't make a herb garden. Getting far too intense. The storm. I think I, I think I need to go. I. Yeah. Let's get out of here. I I need to get on it. We're making these Chernobylite neutralizers to like to delay him, even by minutes. Every minute is gonna help. I I can't take him in a fight. He's gonna. 
ruin my health. And I'm going to use more resources to heal myself. Did I fail the mission? Can I not just go back another time? Is is that... Wait, no. Please tell me that's just not it. Olivier, mission successful. We can all eat today. Right. Sashko, you're on double rations. My psych's fine. We have... We've got a decent little bit of food here. Please tell me that I can actually go back. Oh, we're we're going to have to worry about that tomorrow. For now. Base upgrades. My inventory is it? Gardening. I I don't I don't have the mushrooms. I don't have the mushrooms. That is quite infuriating, actually. Got gas mask filters now. Got some slugs. See, I've got a fair bit in my inventory, but it doesn't really matter because I can't get my inventory full. Let's drag stuff down here. Companions. Okay, so Olivier likes that I remember the password, but he doesn't like that I let that guy go. But I thought it was I thought it was the right thing to do. Although well, maybe Olivier has healthy paranoia in this sort of situation. We don't exactly... Well, we're not surrounded by friends. Healing self. Right, anti read I can't even make the anti-radiation ointment. Olivier. Maybe I should just put you in charge. I'm not making a very good job of this. Sashko, you okay, buddy? What are you looking for? How are things, Professor Kim Nuke? Not too bad, Sashko. Not too bad. They've been better. I've been thinking about my brother Rustlin recently. Oh. He'd make a great addition to our team. You were both in a street gang, right? For a while, yes. Uh, we ran errands for Yuri Kipish, a dangerous gangster. He was fucking nuts too, of course. I see. I and know it... you're trying to be polite, Igor, but there's no way to understand these things unless you've lived through them yourself. I'm talking about ongoing turf wars between every type of gang. Russian, Kyrgyz, Thai, Vietnamese, you name it. Everyone trying to get a piece for themselves. What about the police? <laughs> they stay well away unless they have urgent business there. You know what I mean? Anyway, me and Ruslan were right in the middle of it. Every day, something was going down. You run, you sweat, you fight, you kill, you bleed. You get hooked on the adrenaline, like a drug. Rustlin had a special talent. He could make a person disappear without a trace. That would have come in handy around here on several occasions. We all followed a code, of course. Even wild animals have rules. You're familiar with the Thieves' Code of Conduct? Where uh, criminals forsake their families and dedicate themselves to crime. That's right. Rustlin would never hurt anyone who wasn't in his way. But that kind of life takes you dark places no matter what. You think it took its toll on Rustlin? Possibly. That's why I have to face him to find out. Why did he come here, though? Did he get sent on a job and never came back, or...? Well, I'm, I'll leave you be for now. I was just seeing what you were what you were up to. Because I can check what skills you have to teach me. Reflex. Improved reflex. Mitigate the effects of blunt force trauma and gunshot wounds. Okay. Run faster, land more safely from larger heights. Perfect parkour. Run much faster and land safely from any height. Patience, you've learned. Patience in handling weapons. 
But this is shotgun damage. I don't really care for shotgun damage. Although maybe I should be taking a shotgun around for that black mask man. Because he's going to get up in my face no matter what. Olivier. Hey Igor, how are you? I'm alright. Uh, what about you? Have you started to regret joining our little suicide squad yet? That's a good question. <sighs> no way. I live for this kind of thing. And since Anton's death, it's personal for me now. Hopefully you won't change your mind. Shadows, any archer, Nobelite. It's all a bit overwhelming. Tell me about Years it. Years ago, I met a young pirate. Just a kid, really. I was part of a team retaking a hijacked cruise ship off the Somali coast. The kid's colleagues chained him to a machine gun so he couldn't escape, and told him to shoot anyone trying to board the ship. He was so scared when he saw us. He froze in place. The chain was too thick for us to cut, and we didn't know what to do with him. There was no way in hell we could turn our backs on a PKM. I could have knocked him unconscious, but a blow to the head with a rifle butt could just as easily kill him. So I did the only thing I could. I unloaded his weapon and broke the boy's fingers. On both hands, to be safe. When it was over, we brought him back to Canada. Trudeau found him a nice foster family. I understand you feel responsible for this mission, Igor. But I also have a stake in this. Trust me. I will do whatever it takes to see this through. Whatever it takes. I... I believe it. I'm a little worried about just exactly what you might do, but... That couldn't have been easy either. You can't risk turning your back on... on a live weapon. You could have probably just moved, like, you know, unloaded the gun and... You know, searching for am more ammunition and left him chained up there for a bit. Rather than just breaking his fingers, but... I mean, better is... better the fingers than... accidentally killing him by knocking him out. And being unconscious, being knocked unconscious, that's not good for you either. You take it easy, buddy. Let's just... let's just wrap up for today. We need to get back out there as quickly as we can. We need... so many herbs. I, I want to get the herb garden going, and then it'll just, like, alleviate my overall herb problem by providing me with more herbs. I hope it gives me a good n number of herbs. And I need to see if I can go find that bunker. Morning, all. Yeah, everyone sleep okay? No? Anybody but... there? Hello? Hey! Answer the radio for once, you cocksuckers! What do you mean for once? I'm always answering it. important! Come on! Don't leave me standing here with my dick in my hand! Who is this? Who is this? Are you retarded? It's your fucking landlord, scrote! By the way, how are you enjoying your stay, Mr. Kimenyuk? Mikhail, I'm in the middle of something. Glad this isn't like the time. The place. I hope you leave it in the same pristine condition you found it. You it was a real a, bargain, you know. It was a real but dump. When now I we found need it. to talk business. Anton and Olivier around. Anton oh. is. He was killed. Yeah. Oh my! Uh, what a pity. Yeah, he was such a nice guy. Yeah, perhaps too fucking nice. Yep. I'd bet my last cigarette that's what got him killed. You're very so. sensitive. What do you Best. want, Mikhail? I need you to return the favor and help me wipe the NAR database. And before return you start the favor. bitching about it, I know you're not that kind of scientist. I'll walk you through the whole thing. Ah, <sighs> these... Well, it doesn't sound like he's in with the NAR. Because... Otherwise, he wouldn't need us to wipe the database. So I could just say no. I, I mean, I can always agree to it and then just not do it. That That's one of the options. And Olivier and Sashka, they might have something to say. Right, I'll, uh, I'll pretend to agree to it and we'll see. I should use any opportunity I get to hurt NAR. Okay. I'll do it. That's my brave lad. Head to the building in the Duca complex. I'll be in touch. Right, okay. I might not get to it today. I've got other priorities. Morning, both. I overheard your conversation with Mikhail. 
Don't tell me you're actually going. Mm, probably Mikhail not. Mikhail is a bit off, but he's not wrong about crippling NAR. It could buy us some time. He sounds like a sociopath. Do you trust him? No, not no. at all. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to deal with him. We only need him because of this warehouse. Right now, he looks more like a liability than an asset. I'm with hand, you. You might discover something important. I don't know. Nah, it's too risky. You should ignore him. I think I'm going to go along on this one thing, and see how it goes. I strongly advise against that. I know his type. He probably eats his Wheaties with cocaine in the morning. Nah. Thank you for those wise words of wisdom. But actually, thank you. Yeah, Let's table this on, discussion for now. Now, Olivia, I'm with you. Right, missions. I can still go back for those old documents. Thank goodness. There's a supply drop in Pripyat Port. Sashko, can I do this anything? This isn't my circus anymore. I'm probably going to bug out soon and you should do the same. What? Why? Can I... Can I give you something for your psych? Calming salts. I use this precious herbs and mushrooms, but... Hey, buddy. This isn't my circus anymore. I'm probably gonna bug out soon, and you should do the same. No, I, I, I can I give you this? Ah. Uh... I don't know what to do, Olivia. I think we're gonna lose this guy already. I hope he's here when we get back. Sashko, I cannot send you on any missions. Right, I'm gonna go back to Kapachi. I it's got herbs, and I need to finish that mission. Right, well, Sashko, you better not run off with that rifle I gave you. Let's get back out there. Right. I'm back where I was. Do I need to go back and get that clue again? Right, let's just beeline it. We haven't the time to lose. But herbs? Nope. I really wish I upgraded the scanner now instead of blowing up the Dugar radar. But it wasn't worded like, oh yeah, make the Dugo radar work for you. It was just like, yes, blow it up or there's a scanner upgrade. I don't know. Herbs. Oh, grab that. That's heavily radiated. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Mushrooms. Oh. There's Chernobylite there. Right, let's grab this very quick. Let's get out. Where is the piece of Chernobylite that I can take? Oh. Isn't there usually a piece of Chernobylite that makes all of this disappear? Listen to that radio. Radio? Okay. 
I'm listening to that radio, it's... Okay, that's the clue that I found, so... Hopefully there won't be another... Two soldiers, but it feels like there's going to be another two soldiers. There, the yellow hats. Isn't it here? Oh, fuck. Shit, take it easy, Andre. These documents are over 30 years old. Who knows where they ended up by now? Yeah, Andre, don't worry about the um, other two people that went. Hey, 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 check disappeared it out. Here. Some kind of transfer order. It's got a KGB stamp on it. Should be in a museum. All documents, memorandums, and reports. What? Oh. No, don't flank him. Leave him alone. Just because he shot you first. Oh, I didn't even need to kill them. I could have just listened into their conversation and gone like I did last time. Just gone, yep, no, that's definitely where it was. Well, I've got calming salts, but that doesn't do me any good right now. I should have made a healing salve. Take those chemicals. Chemicals is sugar. Is that another patrol? I'm not doing great for ammunition. And I've got a lot of blood over my gas mask. Sugar. Okay, so heading to the right, away from the soldiers, is radiation. Trying to shoot those soldiers was a mistake that I did not, was a course of action I did not think through anywhere near enough. It's amazing how many just come out of the woodwork when you start firing. Okay, I don't think they've seen where I've gone. This is going badly. Oh. Well, I've got a gas mask filters now. There is not a lot of herbs around for the taking. Try to keep moving. Oh, 
Joy. A creepy flooded bunker. This is exactly what I need. Except it's definitely not. Something in here. Whoa. Whoever you are, I am a man of faith. It gives me no pleasure taking lives, not even the lives of dirty little rodents like you. Well, hang on. That sacrifice is necessary for our salvation. I don't know whether the Rat King corrupted you, or if you came here by accident. Gus must gone. No one must interfere with my holy work. You'll never get out of here alive. Do yourself a favor. Take this is that lunatic now. that Sashko was working for. Go. How did it go? Kill them all? The great rat catcher in the sky will know his own. What? Right, I can't get that open. Um. Hello? I can't get that open. Oh. Flipping hell. How does... Dorothy? Pripyat Cafe? Duga? What in God's name does it all mean? Meeting with Agent Splinter. I attended a meeting with our special surveillance officer Splinter and one of our assets from the power plant VG as planned. We met at our regular rendezvous point... Uh, point this included further meeting was to further include BG in our operations and keeping him delivering information on Dorothy. CIA acts of sabotage that Dorothy might be a part of was mentioned, although Agent Splinter was skeptical about this possibility. Can I read this later? Can I just maybe I should rearm the traps? What? Why? Whoever's after us will most likely come here looking for clues. Wouldn't it be prudent to... To what? Use this opportunity to try and thin the NAR ranks? Exactly. Look, I've done my fair share of killing, but I don't like that plan at all. God knows who might wander down here. What if a civilian walks into one of the traps? I mean, it's unlikely. No, I'm, I'm not going to leave random people to horrific death. You're right, it's too risky. I can't chance killing some summer shell who went exploring. Good. I'm glad you agree. You're finally starting to think like a military man. I'm just conscious I used that for a lot of time. Oh no, that was the document. That was the clue. Right, if I can hear the storm from in here, it's time to go. God, that lunatic. Who is he? Is he a former KGB agent or something? Because he... He obviously knew about the bunker and that the NAI would be wanting to go there. I'm in a lot of pain. Well done, Olivier. That's a lot of food. Right. Sashko, I need to get you back out in the field, and I also can't risk you leaving. Double food rations increase your health, a uh, companion's health and morale. My, I don't need my sights to improve. Normal, normal... I'm just going to give you normal rations. I don't think giving you more food improves your, your psych at all. Sashko? 
Oh good, he's just unstable now. Sashko, can I give you this When I agreed style? to partner with you, I was hoping for more than this. You should think long and hard about your next step, Zico. I'm I'm trying. Sir can Pigo? I Can I give you these I'm salts? Okay. What's on your mind? Exploring Pripyat sometimes reminds me of my life in Moscow when I was a teenager. We used to live in one of those awful cheap flats called Khrushchevka. I remember that. I used to live in one as well. They were the epitome of communist architecture. They sound right. charming. Small, narrow and claustrophobic. Like a cage made of concrete. A scientist might say its size was inversely proportional to how much the family members hated each other. And somehow it seemed to shrink every year. There was this urban legend going round about the front door being too narrow to fit a coffin through. I never heard that one. So, it was better not to die inside. You feel me? I wonder all the time what really happened to my parents. I never even went to their funeral. I had to run. But that's a story for another day, I guess. I'm really sorry about your parents, Sasha. Curious about that, though. Because he, he obviously thinks a lot of his brother, but he... I, I don't know how much he... For his parents, so I'm just gonna leave you be for now. Right, what can we build? I still can't make a mushroom garden. And I should talk to Olivier in a sec. And I, I need to make a healing salve. This the resources are so scarce. I need an anti radiation ointment. Will I heal if I just sleep? Is that a thing? We can try that. We can try sleeping off some of this hurt. And in the morning, we can take this thing else out, I guess. Can I make a laser cutter? Barbecue. No, I cannot. I have nowhere near enough mechanical parts. Right, I hopefully tomorrow Sashko will feel like going out in the field. Just gonna get another night's sleep. This I really cannot stay on top of things. I don't know how this is going to end. I've got three clues and three facts. I. At least as far as the conspiracy goes, are there other things I could learn through Ariane Ariadna? So far, it seems to be about the surveillance. Is. Ah, I can look at these documents later then, so I don't need to read them and waste time out in the field. So, I'm just curious. They mention a Dorothy here, and I wonder if they are referring to Tatiana, if Dorothy was the code name for Tatiana. Because they were certainly observing her through the music box. Let's get a good night's sleep. Hopefully I'll feel a lot healthier in the morning. Hopefully Sashka will still be here. Okay. I am no healthier, but I've certainly not got blood coming out of my eyes anymore. Answer oh. the radio, mousey, mousey, mouse. Yeah, why you would I? Know that I know you're there. What are you your traps almost killed me yesterday? Me, little mouse. The Rat King is almost upon us. But today, you stopped him in his tracks. I am proud Me. of you, Mousy. You and I are going to be good friends, I think. I don't think so. He, his quirks seem harmless and he might yet prove to be useful. I don't think that's right. Let's... Do I want to antagonize this person? 
he's leaving traps to murder people left, right, and centre, it seems. So I don't think I want to anger him. So I'm just going to play along. If we keep him on our good side, he may even try to help us in his own deranged way. Right, whatever. Oh, great and powerful rat catcher. Let us meet in person, Mousy. For real this time. Oh, Pripyat dear. Port, look for a red sign painted on a wall. This symbol will protect us from the Rat King. <sighs> Everything says don't go. 